comes another heart attack Just a small fact Too fast, too little, too slow to learn So what, so what, who cares for what you think Everyone you know is doing that So what, so what, who cares for what you think Everyone you know is doing that Oh, cool. Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well today I'm checking out the uh, Alpha Carbine 357 Magnum. Now this carbine is uh, very new here to Australia and if you caught my Facebook post you would have seen that I was um, real excited to uh, obtain one of these and be able to um, organise a review so it's finally here. So let me show you uh, straight away what comes with the actual uh, rifle. Now we've got a uh, user manual here. It is revolver, okay, so you probably get a little bit confused, but it's identical. The uh, carbine is exactly that, as you can see. It's a revolver just with a longer barrel and a stock actually fixed to it. So you've got this little leaflet here that just gives you the uh, technical details about it. Also comes with a uh, test target. Now this test target is uh, shot at a distance of 15 meters, as you can see here. And the actual factory say that their test targets aren't to actually shoot for accuracy. It's just to shoot to say, well, it's working before it leaves the uh, factory. So I'll be really keen to actually see how accurate this little rifle is. Now this is a great feature. It comes with a little case here with a cleaning kit. Everything you need. So we've got uh, replacement uh, rear and front side in there. We've got cleaning rod. We've got a brass. Um, brush there, a nylon brush, and then also a uh, soft fabric brush there. So just fantastic, you know, I mean, really, I mean, at the end of the day, it's only going to cost a manufacturer a couple of dollars extra to do that, and I just think it adds a really nice touch to the overall package. The uh, hardcover carry case that you see here is um, just standard uh, soft foam internally, so at least you've got a nice case to uh, carry your carbine with you to the range or if you go out hunting or recreational shooting, um, you know, you've got that. It's everything that you need. So let's jump straight in and have a close-up look at the um, carbine. As you can see, it's clear. We've got absolutely no live ammo anywhere near or in the firearm. Just doing the run-by of it, you can see the nice checkering on the walnut fore in there. And you can see once we get to about here, it's honestly just a revolver, isn't it? All the internal parts operate exactly the same. And then you can see the nice finish on the uh, rear stock there too. So a few of you might be thinking, well, you know, look, it's just going to get cut down or used as a handgun. Well, no, number one, it would be illegal. And remember, guys, we're the good guys, not the criminals. So and there's another feature to prevent that too. You've actually got steel running all the way through. And it actually is part of the actual frame of this carbine. So, you know, you can't just take the stock off and cut it down on that. You'd have to go to a fair bit of effort to do that. Now, the uh, specs on it. The barrel is only uh, 12 inches or um, just a tad over 30 centimetres. It is, um, I think, now correct me if I'm wrong, Victoria, South Australia, I think they're the two states that um, have uh, limits on actual barrel length for rifles. So... If that's true, look, don't worry guys, because um, a 16 and a half inch uh, barrel version of this is actually coming out. So, you know, you're not going to be left out. So that's just fantastic news, obviously. Now, the overall length of it is interesting. It's um, 75 centimeters or just on 30 inches. So, you know, most of you'd be thinking, oh, well, that's no dramas because where I live, 65 centimeters is the uh, minimum for rifles. Well, here in Queensland, it's actually 75 centimetres. If it's under 75 centimetres, it's classed as a Category H of pistol. So <laughs> this only just made it. I mean, um, it's actually the real length is probably about 76 centimetres, 75 and a half it measures uh, in at. So, you know, we've just got in by the skin of our teeth there. But as I say, guys, in all reality, it wouldn't matter because um, the longer barrel version, 16 and a half inch are coming out, as I say. Now the weight of it is really good. Obviously it's not that heavy, 2.45 kilos or uh, 5.4 pounds. I mean, you know, what can I say? A nice handy weight, um, or sorry, a nice handy lightweight carbine 
for walking around in the field, isn't it? Just, just perfect for that. Now the Calibre, 357 Magnum, I really like. That's probably one of my favorite uh, calibers for a variety of reasons. There's so much you can do with a 357 Magnum, it's so versatile. You remember when I did the uh, review on the Rossi Circuit Judge? I think pretty much everyone's seen that review now. 44 Magnum, you know, good, plenty of energy, knocks um, very hard down range. But I tell you what, when you start forking out for 44 Magnum ammunition, uh, you start to feel it in the hip pocket. 357 Magnum isn't quite as bad, and you can get such a nice variety of um, ammunition, like from target to hunting ammunition, the whole bit. So that's really, really good. And naturally, you can run 38 Specials through it too. So if you want something that's a cheaper alternative and you just want to go to the range or you're out recreational shooting and just uh, want a little bit of plinking fun, then you can do it and at a reasonably affordable price too. Now, the uh, rear sights on this are um, windage adjustable and also adjustable for uh, elevation, okay? So I'll bring that up to the camera. You can see there, just standard screwdriver will uh, get you sorted there. Now, just to uh, release the cylinder, obviously, just like a standard revolver, and it is six shot, as I say. So, you know, really great. You can operate it in both double action, single action, just like a standard revolver, okay? So single action is just when you pull the... Uh, hammer back and cock it manually for those of you who are unaware. So then obviously you can fire from there. If you fire in double action, that just means the hammer's forward and you just simply pull the trigger, the hammer goes back and the cylinder rotates. Okay, so pretty straightforward really, isn't it? Now uh, on the topic of sights guys with this, um, there is an aftermarket, and I'll just cover this briefly, an aftermarket um, weaver base here, okay? so. Really good because you can just take off the rear sight there and put this on. It does come with a couple of screws, I just don't have them near me at this stage. And uh, obviously you can mount a scope. Now, for me personally, I wouldn't be mounting a scope on this. It just doesn't suit the overall use and, and uh, look for what I want. So for me, I mean, I'd love to put a red dot on this. And, uh, you know, just something nice like, you know, you can, there's so many different red dots out there now, but I'm a pretty big aim point fan, um, only because, look, yeah, okay, it's a little bit more expensive, but geez, they work, and um, I'm really happy with the ones that I've got. So something like that on top would be good. But for this review, guys, I'm actually going to throw a scope on uh, for part of it where we can actually um, side in and we can just test and really see how the accuracy is with this um, little carbine. So we'll get out and do that shortly. On the topic of uh, prices, guys, uh, the whole setup that you see, excluding the mount, because remember, as I say, that is a third-party mount, uh, $1,430, okay? So that's the price here in Australia. And it is imported by Pro Tactical Australia, so they have 200-odd outlets in Australia alone. So honestly, go into your local dealer. If they don't have one, ask them to get one in and have a look at it. And um, you can see one up close and personal and make up your mind whether it suits you. All right, guys, let's get out on the farm now. I'm really keen to put this uh, little carbine through its paces. All right, guys, we've got uh, a heap of different ammo here to try through the uh, Alpha carbine. So first of all, we're gonna start off with the American Eagle 38 Special, 158 grain lead round nose. Then we'll move up to the Cellular and Bellet. That's also the lead round nose, 158 grain in the 38 Special. Then we'll go to the American Eagle 357 Magnum 158 grain jacketed soft points. I've got a few rounds left of uh, old box of PMC here in 357. This is the uh, 158 grain jacketed soft points. I'll try them through it. Then in the Federal we've got uh, 125 grain jacketed hollow points, so a little bit lighter. And then the final one, the premium round from Hornby, the 140 grain FTX 357 Magnum ammo. So what we'll do is we'll do six shot groups obviously because it holds six in the cylinder and we've got a target out there at 50 yards just to see how we go. Now don't worry about the scope guys, I mean I, I definitely wouldn't have this on full time. All it is is just for me to actually see the group size, see which ammunition runs the best and then I'll actually sight it in for a red dot.
Okay, this one's a celerian bellet. You'll be aiming at the bottom right hand target and try to get it on the top right hand target because it's shooting so high. Alright guys, it looks more the part now, doesn't it? You know, it, it, was, it looked pretty silly there with the scope on it, I admit, but it was for a purpose. Anyhow, we've got the red dot, the aim point micro, and I've uh, using the Hornady ammunition here. So out there at 50, we've just got a uh, wild dog target, and I'm just going to go pretty much uh, centre for the heart there with the red dot, and we'll see what accuracy we can get with the setup. So we've got the Hornady ammunition out, we've got the red dot on and it's so much more comfortable using the Alpha carbine with a red dot because obviously with a scope you've got to get to that eye relief that usually is only one or two inches and it, the blast is just coming back on my face so it's pretty uncomfortable to use. It's still so definitely you have to wear eye protection but uh, a lot better overall and we can see the results with the shooting here. So we've got about 1.2 inches of five shot group. Now you know, let's face it guys, that's really out of a revolver, isn't it, at 50 yards. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just gonna bring it up a few clicks to get it more on target. And we're gonna have some real fun with this carbine and see what it's made of. It's the thing I love about a revolver, guys. You know, it's just so easy to load. And you can actually get speed loaders for them, so you know it makes it a lot quicker. This is so cool. All right guys, I'll just show you the rapid fire with this. Now obviously double action, the trigger's a bit heavy, but we'll fire off the six shots and we'll show you just how reliable this action is. All right guys, I'll wrap up with my final thoughts on the Alpha Carbine in 357 Magnum. Now I'm quite impressed with this little carbine. A great lightweight carbine for getting around in the bush especially if you're going after pigs you've got six shots you can get them off fairly rapidly just perfect for that purpose me personally I'd actually like the 16 and a half inch barreled version that's just my preference what I'd like to see and the big negative with this is just the blast that comes back and hits you in the face I mean like you can feel it stinging your face coming back and hitting you now like the Rossi circuit judge that I reviewed I mean it had blast uh, shields there and this is exactly what this needs however the quality of this compared to the Rossi and this is only my own view this is far superior just everything about the workings of it 
just the whole lot. You know, it just feels solid. It feels like quality, and I really, really like it. Once we actually found the right ammunition for it, which obviously was the Hornby ammunition, just there off the bench, and keep in mind, this is not a bench rifle by any means. It's basically just a 12-inch barreled revolver. We're able to get some good accuracy in this windy conditions at 50 yards. So really, really happy with that. Definitely a red dot is the way to go for this sort of setup because it keeps it so lightweight and you can just maneuver so quickly around in the bush. Heaps of fun. As you saw when I was shooting the cans, you know, you can just go single action, you know, from the next to the next can and take care of them. Or honestly, the other thing that you'd be looking at with this is going to a good gunsmith and getting the trigger light and then you can really you know, shoot quite accurately there in that double action without that heavy, uh, heavy trigger pull. Anyhow guys, that's my honest thoughts on it. What a great little carbine. If you want to go and have a look at one, get into your local dealer today. Okay, till next time, we'll catch you then.